Corey. Today we're going to make a simple box with a lid. Let's go. Up here, create sketch. Pick a plane. We're going to go with that one. Now I'm going to use center rectangle. Now you do have options of all these different commands in this side window and if you go onto the command onto the little three dots you can choose to pin that command in the toolbar up here as I've done with a few common tools that I use. So we're going to go center rectangle, click it on the center of the origin, bring it out, we're going to make this rectangle approximately this box approximately 50, 50 millimeters by 90. Click. And you can see there we have a two dimensional sketch of the size that we need. Now we hit E, the letter E for extrude. Click the box and we're going to bring it up 45 millimeters. 45 millimeters. Now, our box is going to be 50 millimetres overall, and you'll see why in a second. So we've got 45 millimetres higher. Click OK. Now we go back to Create Sketch on the top of the box, and we hit the Extrude button, the letter E again, E, and we're going to take that up 5 millimetres. But the difference here is we come over here to the sidebar and we hit new body, new body, and we go OK. So now we have two bodies, the box and the lid. And we'll just come over to the tree on the left and do the little drop down menu on the bodies. And then you can see how we can turn off and on the relevant body parts. So if you wish to name them, you can click on that and then click it again and write, in this case we'll write lid, enter, and then this one we will write box. Box. So now we have a lid and a box. So let's close the lid. Let's close the eye. This is the eye here on the lid and it gets rid of the lid for us. How do we hollow this out? A couple of different ways. Easiest way I've found is on the shell tool up there. So click the shell tool, click it on that face. Now we want our box to have approximately three millimeters worth of side so we just hit three and then come over here and we make sure that we're on the inside so we've gone to the inside of the box so the external dimensions of the box stay the same click OK and there you have a box and a lid just like that Simple process. So now is we will create four holes in the lid that will let us screw the lid to the box. So first, we'll just get rid of the lid to start with. We need a bit of body in these corners here so the screw has something to fix into. Now we're just gonna go pretty easy chamfer tool, select the four inside corners of the box, like that, and I'm going to do a chamfer of about six millimetres. So we have a six millimetre chamfer, and that's given us a little bit of room here to fit the screws into. So hit OK. Now we'll put the lid back on. Lid back on. And we'll come down here. And we're going to put a hole 
right down through here. So we hit the H for hole, H. Select a surface, got the surface of where we're going to put the hole. Now I'm just going to hit the top key up on the cube up there and that kind of centers us so we look nice and flat while looking down at it. Now there's our to be hole. So over on the hole command on the right hand side here we have a few different options. We're just going to go basic. So the hole is 10 millimeters deep. This is the current setting and it's 2.5 millimeters in diameter. So we're going to keep the 2.5 in diameter but we're going to change the depth. So keep in mind that the lid is 5 millimeters thick and we probably want the screw to go down about 10 millimeters. So that would be 15. So if we make our hole 17 millimeters deep from the lid, that will be perfect. But it's not in the right spot. So we can click and drag it to where we want it, but that's not very precise. So if you click the edge here, it'll bring up a dimension window and we're going to call it three millimeters in and then hit enter and that gives us a little padlock and that locks that measurement in. Then hit this edge over here and we're going to change that to three millimeters as well and then hit enter and that will lock that measurement in. So they're both locked in now and then we just hit the enter one more time and that will confirm the command. So as you can see, we have a hole in there. Perfect. But we've only got one. There's a few different ways we can get the rest of the holes in. Either do a pattern or do each command um, separately again. So we'll do a few different ways. So we'll hit the hole command again and we'll select the surface. Now the hole that we did up top here is kept in the memory over here because it was the last hole dimensions that were used. So that they should still be correct. And we'll hit this edge and we go three, enter, and then hit this edge and we go three again and enter and see how it locks them both in again and then hit enter one more time and it gives us the hole just like that so another way of doing it is you come over to create and you go create mirror mirror and that will basically mirror the image from one side of the origin of this little yellow origin down here of the, here mirror from one side to the other depending on whether you choose bodies faces features or components so we're going to choose faces and we know that we just did these two whole commands and they're down here right down the bottom in the timeline so there's one there's two now we want it to pick a face to mirror that from. So we select a plane and we go this one here and that will basically mirror it from this side onto this side. Hit the mirror, hit OK. And there we have four holes to hold the lid onto the box. Now we might spruce the box up a bit, I think. Make it look a bit, you know, a little bit fancy, I suppose. So we'll go to the fillet tool. Now the fillet tool will give you like a radius edge. So we select fillet and we select the edges that we want to put the curve or the fillet on. And I'm just going to do a 3mm fillet and then hit OK 
and that gives us a nice rounded edge there. And we'll do the same over here. Select it, that one, that one. So those four are selected and we just hit three for three millimeters again. Enter and it's done. So now we have a lid that you can screw onto a box. And screws, if you just go to your local hardware, you find some little hobby screws from the hardware or from your hobby shop, and you'll be able to screw them in. We're not going to worry about printing threads in these little holes. That's for another time. So we'll close out the lid, and you can see in there how we've got the hole. And that hole should be 12 millimetres deep. And we can check that if we want to go onto this little ruler here. Hit the ruler button. Find the bottom of the hole. As you can see, it's highlighted. Select it. Find the top of the hole, or the top face, which is there. Select it. And you come over to the right here. And there we go. The distance is 12 millimetres. And we'll just close that measurement there. So these little, a little box like this, if you're into the hobby, hobby side of things, you could print this out quite easily. You could put your little batteries in it, little, bit, little uh, electronic devices to put inside your model, and you can make it any size you like. So hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make a box. And uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, we'll get this channel up and going with some little simple CAD tricks from Corey. Alright, see you next time.